All right, y'all. I'm with M Phases what from up? Australia. Dude's in New York right now making some power moves. And uh, I guess what we're starting with here is a joint that he produced. Actually, it was played at the, uh, the the beat battle, the Shaw Money beat battle, where he took first place. And actually, Farrell Munch is now on the record. We, had, we tried one hook that wasn't a go, but the hook was so dope. We decided to take it and have phases build something around it. So, phases, why don't you start with the original, the original, the original record with Munch on it. Can't play too much of the, uh, the, the Munch joint though. That's my, uh, on the compilation. It's top secret. The, yeah, yeah, it's top secret. <laughs> exactly. Right. Yeah. So this is a joint. M phases, good graces. Uh -oh. Pharaoh wasn't too happy with the hook, and uh, I think it's he wasn't happy with the he liked the hook. We you know we all love the fucking hook, so uh, but it didn't really fit with the song. It's a little bit more organic. The track's a bit more organic, and the hook's a little bit more on the commercial tip. So they sort of clashed, but I can't let that hook go to waste because it's fucking fire. So uh, that's what we've been doing today is remixing it and putting a new track to it so we can you know. We can hopefully make a bit of bread off it. So I thought I'd, I thought I'd do something a little bit more, you know, commercial, right? Um, and a bit more epic sounding or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I lay some piano. I'm just gonna, you know, let each track play out a little bit. That, that's a window breaker. Getting his Ryan Leslie on a little something something. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan Leslie ain't got shit on me. Uh, oh shit. Shout out to Ryan. Ryan's dope. I'm yeah. actually a huge inspiration, especially on the keys and shit. Yeah. As people probably know, I'm uh, predominantly a sample based producer. A lot of the shit that I've done is more on the sample side of things. But uh, I'm trying. I'm not straying away from it, but I'd say I'm even evening it out with a lot more of the original stuff. You say you're stepping your game up. I'm stepping it up in a, in a direction that's a bit more accessible in today's market. Like, sure. As we all know, you know, record labels, big record labels hate samples and, and it's hard to get placements, it's hard to get, not only on, you know, albums but on, um, on, on advertisements or video games and things like that. Publishing sure. companies that want tracks, they, they don't fuck with samples, so... I still sample, like, I've got records everywhere, um, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna dig through some shit, but... At the same time, I don't want to. I don't want to limit myself to just that. 